so hello and welcome back to the new video of the JNU tutorial series so uh, in our previous video we have seen how we can install the eclipse id and set up our eclipse ids uh, to j uh, for using the j unit and uh, testing our code okay so for in this video we will be uh, talking uh, talking about the setup how we can set up the intellij idea uh, which is developed by jetbrains company uh, ide uh, how we can set up that ide to use the j unit uh, okay, so let's go and uh, check check this out. Okay, so for the first very first you need to install the IntelliJ IDEA IDE So for that you just go inside your Chrome and uh, create a new tab open up the new tab and just write download IntelliJ IDEA Okay, so very first uh, link came from the Jet, JetBrains just click on that And uh, we have to uh, uh, select your OS, uh, whether it should be o Windows, Mac OS, Linux. According to that, you can select. Mine is Windows, and uh, they have two versions: Ultimate and Community Edition. Uh, if you want to, uh, if you have, if you want to have these uh, uh, premium features that it IDE provides, then in that case, you can download the Ultimate version. So, uh, but you have to provide them some money uh, so that you can uh, buy this ultimate version. But I will, uh, if you are a learner and you are a student, then I would suggest you community edition, download that edition and you can get the free version. Okay, so just click on download. Uh, thank you for downloading and download will get started. Uh, it is uh, 600, 633 MP file. Uh, according to your internet connection, it will get downloaded and I will not download it again I, since I have one copy of this uh, uh, installer and I have installed this one in, in my PC as well. So uh, after installing this uh, IDE, just you need to come into your start and just write IntelliJ IDEA. Okay. And just hit enter. This will open up the IDE. Uh, since I have uh, already uh, working on this uh, tutorial series using IntelliJ IDEA, the last project that I have used, it will get, it will open that project. but uh, if you are using uh, if you are opening up this ID for the first time then in that case uh, this will uh, look like this if you are just go here and just click on a new project then in that case you will see this prompt for if you are using it for the first time okay so there are two types uh, by using we can use the J unit inside the IntelliJ idea one is using the build system of the IntelliJ itself and one is using the build system of the Maven okay so uh, we will be seeing uh, uh, the Maven one because Maven provides uh, e easy uh, dependency management uh, management. Okay, so that will be handled easily by the Maven itself. And my project name is, should be uh, setup, I guess, whatever name you like, you can give. And just click on create. Uh, just click on new window. Okay, so this is the window. After creating your project, you can see this window. Okay, so uh, pom.xml file is the file uh, where you add your dependencies for your project. Uh, okay, so the dependencies that you can add over here, but I will take the dependency from our previous uh, project itself. If I go inside this pom.xml, I will uh, copy this entire dependencies tag and just copy from here and I will just paste that all the dependency that we are required over here. Okay, and I will load my Maven project again yeah so uh, if you if you are watching this video for the first time then in that case uh, just let me quick, uh, give you a quick overview of what is dependencies and what is dependency so uh, since uh, we are using the maven uh, build system then in that case uh, maven has this pom.xml file where all of this uh, requirements about our project has been defined okay so uh, these dependencies uh, is the parent tag uh, under which dependency tag are there and uh, whatever dependency whatever library that you are using inside your project that you want to use inside your project that you have to mention that uh, dependency tag inside this dependencies uh, okay so we since we are using the j unit that's why we have uh, also mentioned the dependency for the j unit you, you can see over here so once you mention the dependencies the uh, uh, entire thing uh, of downloading and ma managing the dependency is done by uh, maven itself after that you can click on the source and you can click on the main and java and over here you can 
create a new java class whatever name you want to give give that name and you can create write your java code here whatever methods that you want to uh, create you can create over here and to test for the testing purpose uh, maven provides you a test folder inside which java java directory is there you just click on, right click on that and new java class and you can create a, a testing class over here and in that testing class you can use the annotations uh, like add test uh, add before add before class uh, to define your test cases for that uh, class that you have defined inside the uh, this main 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 directory right so this is how things works inside IntelliJ IDEA and this is how you can set up the IntelliJ IDEA for the JUnit uh, uh, library uses right. So thank you for watching this video, this video and I will see you in the next one.